Hi everyone! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. I am Gerli Tingo Nalansan, your science teacher. Halika't samahan mo ako at pag-aralan natin ang Module 5. For today's lesson, we will be discussing Biodiversity and Evolution. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to explain how fossil records, comparative anatomy, and genetic information provide evidence for evolution. S10LT-3F-39 Do you know why dinosaurs no longer exist today? You may also wonder why some animals that are present before are no longer existing today. Ang pagkawala ng ibang organismo ay dahil sa iba't ibang environmental factors at aktibidad ng mga tao. What is biodiversity? It is the biological variety and variability of life on Earth, or specifically, the variety of organisms living on Earth. Ito ay ang pagkakaiba-iba ng organismo na namumuhay sa ating daigdig. We have three levels of biodiversity. Species diversity, genetic diversity, and ecosystem diversity. First level of biodiversity is the species diversity. It includes the simplest bacterium to the complex fish, carabao, brightly colored flowers, tree, elephant, and definitely human. According to California Academy of Sciences, the estimated total number of species on Earth is 6.5 million species found on land and 2.2 million dwelling in the ocean depths. Next is genetic diversity. It is the variety of genes or inheritable characteristics that are present in a population. All dogs belong to the same species. Pero kung mapapansin ninyo, hindi sila magkakapareho dahil ang genes nila ay magkakaibang traits. Same with the second picture, which is the mushroom. So, meron tayong iba't ibang uri ng mushroom or kabute sa larawan. At iyan ang genetic diversity. The third level of biodiversity is the ecosystem diversity. Ang mga lugar na malapit sa equator ay may mataas na biodiversity dahil mas maraming nabubuhay na iba't ibang organismo sa ecosystem na ito. At ang mga lugar na malapit sa pole ay may mababang biodiversity. Learners, before we continue our discussion, let us have first the short activity. You will just identify the following pictures. Number one, ano kaya ang nasa larawan? Is it modern or fossils? Correct! It is fossils. Ano naman kaya ang makikita sa larawan? Is it sedimentary rocks or igneous rocks? Tama! Sedimentary rocks. And finally... Paleontologist or Meteorologist? Tama ang iyong kasagutan. Ang mga salitang iyan ay magagamit natin sa susunod na talakayan. Learners, what is evolution? Hmm. Evolution is when species change over time. Kung 
ako ang evolusyon ay ang pagbabago ng mga namamanang katangian ng mga organismo sa paglipas ng mahabang panahon. Wow! Ngayon at nalaman mo na ang kahulugan ng evolusyon, pag-aralan naman natin ang sources of evidence for evolution. Organisms inhabiting the earth have changed over time. Their structures, traits, and abilities allow them to adapt and survive in their environment. Let us discuss the evidence from fossil records. Nakakita na ba kayo ng fossils ng organismo? Ang fossils ay halimbawa ng mga evidences na ginagamit ng paleontologists para mapag-aralan pa ng higit ang evolution. They can be remains of organism which includes bones, teeth, or shell, and also feces embedded in rocks, peat, resin, and ice. They are traces of organisms that live in the past and were preserved by natural process or catastrophic events. Paleontologists is a person who studies fossils. Pag sinabing paleontologist, tumutukoy ito sa tao na nag-aaral tungkol sa fossils at paleontology naman ay ang pag-aaral tungkol sa mga fossils. Karamihan ng fossils ay matatagpuan sa sedimentary rocks. So, ito yung part ng sedimentary rocks sa image na ito. Ang fossils ay may dalawang uri. Meron tayong tinatawag na compression and impression. Same with this picture, meron tayong compression and impression. Ano kaya ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang ito? So, kapag sinabi nating compression, ito yung compression, ito naman ang ikalawang halimbawa ng compression. Kapag may nakita kayong mga traces ng organic materials, yan ay tinatawag natin na compression. So, meron pa siyang mga natitirang organic materials. Kabaliktaran naman ng ikalawang uri, which is impression. So, may natitira, pero small amount lang o totally wala na sa iba't ibang bahagi nito. So, ito naman ay tinatawag natin na impression. Ngayon, at alam mo na ang kahulugan ng fossils, pag-aralan naman natin kung paano nalalaman ang edad ng fossils. Relative dating is a method used to determine the age of the rocks by comparing them with the rocks in the other layer. Fossils found at the bottom layer are assumed to be older than those found on the upper layer. It suggests that invertebrates are probably one of the first and oldest organisms that live on Earth. Sa limbawa, mas matanda ang trilobite kesa sa mammoth. At iyan ang evidence from fossil records. Next is the hint of evolution from comparative anatomy. We have homologous structures and analogous structures. Narito ang halimbawa ng analogous structures as well as the homologous structures. When we say analogous structures, they perform same functions, pare-pareho ang kanilang functions, but they differ in their origin. While in homologous structures, they perform different functions, but they have the same origin. So take a look at the um, image for the homologous structures. So meron tayong palanges ng human, palanges ng cat, yung palanges ng whale, as well as a bat. Lahat din yan merong carpals, yan yung carpals na tinatawag. A juice, meron yan. Present din yan sa whale as well as sa bat at yung kanyang ulna. Papansin ninyo, pare-parehas sila ng origin but they perform different functions. At yan ang hint of evolution from comparative anatomy. 
The third source of evidence for evolution is the evidence from embryonic development. The picture depicts early stages of embryonic development. Let us study and compare the stages of embryonic development of the different vertebrates. Ayon sa pag-aaral, the embryo of fish, salamander, tortoise, chicken, and the human are similar during the first stage of embryonic development. Ang unang stage, halos lahat ng vertebrates na ito ay magkakaparehas. So, nagkakaroon na ng pagbabago during mid-stage embryo and then the mature embryo or yung tinatawag natin na fetus. Very evident na yung kanilang differences. Studies show that species that are closely related exhibited similar embryonic development. And for the final source of evidence for evolution, we have biochemical analysis and amino acid sequence of the organism's DNA. Alam ko na familiar na kayo sa amino acid, kaya mas madali nyo itong maiintindihan. There you have the comparison of DNA, RNA, amino acid sequence, or ATP among species. We have here species of human, horse, gorilla, chimpanzee, and zebra. Ay, pinakita lang dito yung sequence ng amino acid in the some part of their hemoglobin molecules. So, nakafocus tayo sa amino acid ng hemoglobin molecules ng nabanggit na species. Let us compare their differences. For example, we have horse and zebra. So, tingin tayo dito sa horse. Ayan yung kanyang amino acid. And then sa zebra, so, tignan natin. Sabi dito, ang difference niya is 1. Yung horse, pareha silang may arginine, lysine, lysine sa zebra, histidine, lysine, and arginine. So, meron silang difference na isa. Magkaiba ang dulong or yung last amino acid nila. That's why ang number ng difference ng horse and zebra is 1. Tignan naman natin yung sa human and chimpanzee. Yung sa human, lysine. Okay, next is glutamine. Okay, parehas sila. Histidine, isoleucine, parehas. Dito, there is no differences. No? Wala silang pagkakaiba. Pero ang tinutukoy lang naman natin yan is only the amino acid na meron sa hemoglobin molecules. So, more distantly related organisms have more differences in genes. Yung pinaka- uh, distantly related organisms dito sa sample natin ay ang horse and chimpanzee. Sila yung may pinakamaraming differences. Tignan natin. Yung horse, we have arginine. Okay, una pa lang, they differ in their amino acid. Yung pangalawa, yung third amino acid nila is same. Lahat naman ng nabanggit na species dito ay same. No? And then yung fourth one nila is Okay, iba. So that is the biochemical analysis and amino acid sequence of the organism's DNA. Learners, let's have the summary of Module 5, Biodiversity and Evolution. Natalakay natin ang biodiversity at ang three levels of biodiversity, which are species diversity, genetic diversity, and ecosystem diversity. Pinag-aralan din natin ang evolution as well as the sources of evidence for evolution. Evidence from fossil records, comparative anatomy, evidence from embryonic development, and biochemistry. Mga anak, umaasa kami ng inyong mga guro na sa pamamagitan ng video lesson na ito ay maprotektahan natin at mapangalagaan pa natin ng higit ang ating environment para sa susunod na henerasyon. Sana ay naunawaan ninyo ang ating video lesson. Now, kindly get your module and do the learning task. That's all for today, learners. I hope you learned a lot for today's lesson. Enjoy learning because science matters. Good day!